Have you ever wondered why nobody's subscribing to your YouTube channel? No, seriously, I see so many small YouTubers right now on this platform getting hundreds of views every day, thousands of views, some of you tens of thousands of views every single day, and you aren't gaining subscribers from it. The reason being is because you're missing out on three things that I'm gonna share with you in this video. In fact, by the end of this video, I guarantee that once you begin implementing these things, you are gonna start getting more subscribers immediately. In fact, I just helped this creator do it and gain 10K subs in just a few days, this creator over 40K, and this creator over 50,000 subscribers in just a few days by implementing these simple tips. In fact, like I said, it's going to guarantee get you more subscribers on YouTube if you're getting views right now. But before I can share those with you, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day, and you're going to get a ton of value by seeing my future videos from this channel. That being said, the reason that people aren't subscribing to your channel is because you're not asking them to. In fact, you need to have an auto subscribe link. I spoke about this in my last video, but if you put this at the end of your channel, it's going to allow you to get more subscribers because when somebody clicks on that, it's going to automatically make them subscribe. You see, basic human psychology is that if you make somebody do multiple things before they get a desired outcome, the odds of them actually doing that thing decreases significantly, which is why a lot of you guys don't get subscribers because you just have people watch a video, you don't ask them to actually subscribe, and that's the reason that they're not subscribing, or you tell them to subscribe, and in order to do that, they have to go through a bunch of different hoops and then click the subscribe button. Make it easy for them, just have it be a link. And then there are also several things that you can do with that link. One, you can put it in the pinned comment below. Two, you can use it in community posts. In fact, I strongly suggest that you put it in community posts, and I strongly suggest that you make people feel bad in those community posts. You should be doing a community post two to three days a week that's a poll that says, are you subscribed? Yes, no, and have a sad face next to the no, and have a happy face next to the yes, and then have the auto subscribe link. This will increase the amount of subscribers that you're getting. In fact, I guarantee that it's going to increase the number of subscribers that you're getting because the reason that so many of you aren't getting subscribers is because you're simply not asking for it, or you're not doing the two other things that we're about to dive into in this video. The other reason that somebody might not be subscribing to your channel is because you're not actually giving them what they want. Maybe you post in too many niches, and I see so many creators do this. If you're a small channel on YouTube, you need to niche down. I tell the story all the time. I used to only post about TikTok content. Now I post about TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, but if you started trying to do all three of them, and I did start trying to do all three of them, I saw no success. I only started to see success when I started to focus on one thing, applied it to a niche, and actually understood that niche better than anybody else on the platform, because you need to understand. The person that understands, the audience that they're trying to reach the best is the person that's going to win. I see so many creators make the mistake of trying to understand their audience. That is one of the worst things that you could do. You do not want to understand your current audience. You shouldn't be polling them, asking them questions, asking them what they want to see. You shouldn't be doing that because that's only going to cater to the few people that already know about who you are. What you need to do is cater to the large, massive audience that you are actually trying to reach. For example, if that's Minecraft, then it's Minecraft people. If it's fashion, it's fashion people. If it's crypto, it's crypto people. If it's finance, it's finance people. You guys get the gist. Whoever you're trying to reach, that is who you need to be appealing to, not your current audience. Your current audience is going to stick with you because they're interested in you and they're already interested. YouTube is a very sticky place. Once you have an audience, they're going to continue to see your videos over and over again because that's how the YouTube algorithm works. Now, the key is going to be getting your content in front of those people, and that's going to happen if you're staying on trend with what is actually trending within your niche. That's exactly why I created dailycontentideas.com. You could go to the link in the pinned comment below, and for just $1 right Right now, you could get started receiving the trends within your niche on YouTube. You heard that right. If you want to know what is trending within your niche, what kind of content you should be creating so that you can actually tap into that new audience that you want to be reaching, sign up for this. It's basically an email newsletter where I'm going to send you personalized trends for whatever niche you're in every single day, Monday to Friday. You get started for just a single dollar and then it's $10 a week after that, but I strongly suggest you get signed up. Worst comes to worst, if you don't like the way that it works, you can just simply unsubscribe and I know every single one of you has a dollar, so there's no excuse for not signing up. Again, go to the link in the pinned comment below. And the reason that you want to do that is because you need to make sure that you're actually tapped into what your audience is watching. The reason that you need to tap into what your audience is watching, because that's the only way to get YouTube to recommend your content. You could be talking about all the right things that your audience wants to see, but if your titles aren't correct, your thumbnails aren't correct, and one other thing that I will share a little bit later on in this video, it's going to be the reason that you do not actually attract that audience, because how YouTube essentially works is you need to push out content. First, you need to convince the YouTube algorithm that you are making content for said audience. Secondly, you need to then get the YouTube algorithm to display that content to that audience. And third, that audience needs to click on it and needs to resonate with them immediately, which is a mistake that I see so many of you creators make, and it starts with your intro. If you go back to the intro of this video, what did I do? And in fact, I'm implementing all these things that I'm asking you to do in this video in this video. So if you need to rewatch it again so that you can see all these things in action, then go ahead and rewatch it again. But essentially, I started this video off by relating to you. I said, aren't you mad that your views aren't turning into 
subscribers. Now, if you're trying to grow on YouTube, I know everybody struggles with this. I used to struggle with this. In fact, I still struggle with this a lot and so many other creators struggle with it and I've helped tens of thousands of creators now that were struggling with this turn it around, which is exactly why I'm creating this video and sharing those tactics with you. Nevertheless, I started the video off with that. It made you feel something. It made you feel how frustrated you are every single day that you wake up and you might see that you got a thousand views yesterday, 10,000 views, but you didn't get the subscribers that you wanted. I hit the nail on the head with what this audience wants and that's exactly why this video is going to do well. This video is going to attract more views and this video is going to attract returning viewers to my channel, which is the next thing that you need to make sure that you're focused on if you want to get more subscribers. Because let me ask you a question. How weird would it be if you have a girlfriend right now, you have a boyfriend, maybe you're married, maybe you don't have a relationship, you might be too young, but how weird would it be if you saw an attractive person that you were into and the first thing that you ask them is if you want to get married. That's essentially what you're doing by asking somebody that's watched your channel one time to subscribe. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be adding that into your content because it's not as intrusive as just asking somebody to marry you the first time that you meet them. Now, sure, this might work every now and again, but the way that you're actually going to get somebody to marry you is by having multiple interactions with them, communicating with them, which is exactly why you need returning viewers to your content, which is why you need to go into your analytics. You need to be looking at what videos are allowing people to return to your channel and attracting people to return to your channel. And I would recommend that you double down on that type of content. It might be a certain niche. It might be a certain type of content. It might be fear mongering. It might be you telling the future, but whatever the case is, you need to be creating more content like that because the more times that you get somebody to return to your channel, the easier it is to get them to subscribe, to convince them to subscribe. And that's something that so many of you small channels are missing right now. And another thing that you could do to make this incredibly simple is make sure that you actually have content content that people can binge watch. Creating a binge session on YouTube, if you're not doing that, it's going to be essential to getting more subscribers. You want to know why Mr. Beast has so many subscribers or so many people click on his videos and no, I'm not telling you to be Mr. Beast. I'm not telling you to try to be Mr. Beast. The reason that he's been so successful is because everybody knows that when they click on one of his videos, they're going to get excellence. Now, I'm not saying that you need to spend a million dollars a video. I'm simply saying that you need to understand what the audience wants, deliver it to them, and that will be excellence for your audience. And that's exactly what you need to make sure that you're doing. Because if you're not doing that, you're missing the views you deserve, you're missing the subscribers you deserve, and ultimately, you're not going to make the money that you want to be making from YouTube. I know that you're watching this video right now because you want to be a full-time YouTube creator, and I want to help you get there, which is exactly why I want you to keep watching this video, and I'm going to share with you how I can guarantee you grow on YouTube. Because essentially, the only reason that you're not growing right now, that you're not getting the subscribers that you want, that you're not getting the views that you want, is because you're not tapped into what your audience actually wants, which essentially means that your scripts are off, your hooks in your videos are off, your titles are off, or your thumbnails are off. And it's only those four things that you need to change, but it's a drastic difference between doing it really right and doing it really wrong. And for a lot of you, it might come down to simply not using a hashtag, or not posting at the right time, or simply missing out on one simple tactical thing, that if you made that change in your YouTube channel, it would make all the difference between you growing and you not growing. I've literally helped tens of thousands of people already do this. I've helped my own channel do this. And you guys watch me do this in real time. You've seen me skyrocket my growth on YouTube where other people have slowed down, other people have failed to grow and I continue to grow incredibly quickly. And I can do the same exact thing for your channel if you keep watching this video. Finally, I just launched my YouTube Shorts Mentorship Program which guarantees that I can help you grow on YouTube in just 30 days. If you wanna find out more, go to the link in the description. But to put it simply, you're gonna go through six steps of becoming a YouTube Shorts expert then I'm gonna make you a personalized plan. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, what titles to use, what thumbnails to use, what descriptions to use, what tags to use, what your content should actually look like, how your editing should be, and so much more. And then for the next 30 days, I'm gonna critique your content to guarantee that you grow. It's incredibly simple. If you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, I'm gonna give you your money back, zero questions asked. This is not just a course. This is not just information. It's me actually telling you exactly what to do, critiquing you, consulting, me coaching you on how to be a full-time YouTuber, how to grow on YouTube, how to reach your goals on YouTube. And again, if you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, you get your money back, zero questions asked. There's absolutely no risk for signing up. The only risk is not taking advantage of this situation right now with YouTube shorts and growing on YouTube. So please do not be somebody that does that. That being said, if you're not interested, just watch the next two videos I'm going to put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.